everyone, this is the Retro Gamer Ranting. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. Today I want to do a little vlog on Steam. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it lately. I love Steam. I've always been a very avid supporter of Steam. And right now they just seem to be letting some really weird choices in for what they have. And I, I just want to show you. Uh, this is, you know, right now they, yeah, I, I, yeah, and I'm not trying to be really biased here. I just always thought that Steam was a huge quality control issue. You know, it, they, they always seem to have the, the best quality games for the most part. But at the same time, lately they've been letting some really strange choices. As, oh, look at this, Agricultural Simulator. That's one of my but. One of my people on my friends list are playing Agricultural Simulator. Hopefully it's fun. It could be. And I'm not really knocking these, but let's go down here. Right off the bat, my riding stables. Oh, Construction Machines 2014. Could be fun. Who knows? But my riding stables. Six bucks. Okay. All right. All right. Moving down. Handball Challenge 14. 2014? Or is it just the 14th game? Oh. Uh, about 40 bucks for that. Not up my alley. Maybe someone will like that. You know, motocross games, sure, people might like that. Riding Star. There we go. Within four games, we have two horse riding games. Now, get me wrong. I'm sure, I'm really, really sure that there's probably a horse riding video game enthusiast. Oh, my. Oh, my glory. What? 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 All right, that looks stellar right there. That does. That looks amazing. Let's let's go back. Let's uh, let's take a look at my riding stable. Okay, so this looks more like a simulator. It's hardcore horror, horses gore, casual. I I love these new tabs just for that. Oh wow, this is just amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so that one looks more like a simulator. This one looks like you know the stable so you manage the stables this one you actually get to ride the horse and trust me I, I know some horse lovers one of my wife's best friend is a horse lover but you know what you know and so I'm sure this caters to you know people who really enjoy horses and when they're not out actually riding horses or little kids that you know don't have a stable or a horse and want to ride a horse that's great but I can't think of these people actually owning steam I mean, maybe they do. Maybe this is something for, like, parents that are like, oh, I should have a horse riding game for my daughter on here. Well, you know, so when I'm not on the computer, she has something to play. Sure, I, I maybe see that, but moving on. My vet practice in the country. Oh, and another riding game. So I guess all of a sudden Steam said, you know what? We don't have enough horse riding simulation games on Steam. We're really losing out on that crowd. Funny that all these games are about six bucks. So let's take a look at this one. This one, okay. This is the same thing as that other riding stables. Just, it looks almost exactly the same. Maybe the graphics are a little bit better. All right, hardcore, post-apocalyptic, I would say. Uh, oh yes, I love it when you click back and it just you have to all go all the way back again. Moving on, Age of Wushu. Okay, free to play could be good. We have enough free to play games. Pet Hotel 2 and Pet Hotel. Oh, I'm sorry, My Pet Hotel. And then My Best Friends Cats and Dogs. Who is who is this for? Again, all six dollars. Okay, I gotta see who's making these games. I really, really gotta see. Oh. Okay, this looks like the riding simulator again. How does this have anything to do with... It has two of the... Why does it... Wow. It has two of the exact same pictures. No videos. Three of the exact same pictures. These pictures are exactly the same. This is not showing me anything. This is just showing me really... This... Yeah, I want to buy this right now. Okay, let's scroll down casual independent art software trivia entertainment release date yeah this did not get released okay so let's 
All right. I assume the other pet one is by that. Let's let's take a look at my riding stables. Who are they from? Let's take a look. Same people. I, if it's the same people. Trivia Entertain. Oh, apparently, Trivia. I'm probably saying that long. Trivia. Trivia Entertainment is apparently got a contract with Steam to have all their games put on here. I I'm just gonna assume the other games are by the same people. I don't know why. But again, why are these games on Steam? I, I feel like I'm being a, a bully here because, you know, obviously people can go, oh, you know, these are for the kids. These are for the kids because they're, they're trying to cater to the kids and stuff. I don't, I don't, okay, yeah, maybe. But look at this. Within a week's time, we have all these games that literally I don't think had had at least any kind of showing on Steam up to this point I mean I understand the simulators you know uh, I guess people really enjoy those so great you know and yeah there's the whole cat and dog. are they competing with Nintendo now with their three oh look at this with the th so you can pet the dog okay I can understand this I suppose for the kids but at the same time, are, are these really going to be getting precedence over other great games? I mean, look at how much space these games that probably aren't going to sell quite as well. Why is it doing that all of a sudden? I don't know. Go, go back to where you belong, Steam. Look at all these games taking up all this space over other more legit games. Well... For the most part, I don't know some of the. I don't uh, yet another zombie defense game that looks fun. Maybe it is. I'm not knocking it. Don't know anything about it. So you know these are taking up all this space. Creeper World, you know, and in between it, you got games like Creeper World Three and The Secret of Hildridge. Again, I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe oh, Castlevania, Lord of Shadow, buying that right away. But then, you know, look at other great... Mercenary Kings. Enjoyable game. But it got pushed all the way down here. This came out this week. But it's... I had to scroll through three windows to get to that. Thanks to all those riding games and pet simulators. And then we keep going. And look at this. Uber Soldier 2. I heard that's a good game. No, it's not. Quest of Dungeons. Interesting. That looks like a tablet game. I'm not even going to go into that. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, you have to scroll down to actually get to some good games, which is ridiculous. It just seems baffling. And I'm not saying, like, you know, and, and, and I'm not sitting here going, oh, you know, this is all you know, green light's fault. Because, you know, people just keep green lighting these... Stu oh, Desert Gunner. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Desert Gunner. <laughs> I'll, I'll just click on this and let you look at the screens. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just look at that and see just how much game of the year this is. Oh, by the way, this game apparently came out in 2006. This game doesn't look like it could have... This game doesn't even look like it should have been put on the PlayStation 1, for crying out loud. But like I was saying before, I'm not even blaming some of these games because of Steam Greenlight, because a lot of these games aren't Steam Greenlight. This isn't Steam Greenlight. Those horse riding games and pet games aren't Steam Greenlight. We didn't vote for these. And if we vote on a bad game on Steam Greenlight and it gets on Steam, we only have ourselves to blame. So you know what? I'm not even blaming Steam Greenlight. I'm not one of those people who are sitting there going, Greenlight was a horrible idea. I think it was a good idea. And I think if we get a bad game because of Steam Greenlight, you know what? We only have ourselves to blame. But in this case, this isn't Steam Greenlight. This is Valve. This is Steam itself putting out this crap, this shovelware that people wouldn't even buy if it was 50 cents or a penny. Even if this went, even if Desert Gunner went on sale for one penny, I still wouldn't. If this game was free, if all of a sudden it said this game's free, I wouldn't even check it out out of curiosity. I would, I would install it just so I can delete it. I wouldn't even, just despite it. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, Valve. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, Mr. Steam. I, I really don't. 
You're kind of disappointed me. Well, you know, thanks for the 75% off Square Inc. sale. I appreciate that. That's cool. And hey, look, the Batman franchise, 75% off. That's some good stuff. But again, you, you scroll down, if, if it'll actually scroll, <laughs> and you, you, you get horse riding <laughs> and pet simulators. I mean, seriously, I don't see how these can have presidents on here. I, I don't get it. I don't get why these push everything down. Was it a slow week? Apparently it was a slow week. I, it's like, oh, we have nothing coming out this week, so we should at least, oh, here, what's all this crap? Oh, these guys have been wanting to be on Steam for a while, so here, let's put Pet Hotel and My Riding Stable on Steam. Come on, Valve! You're better than this! Where's your quality control? Oh, this is painful to watch oh my lord this is painful to see i'm not trying to be mean to these games like i said i'm sure there are people out there that absolutely you know these really casual people that want to play these games but you know what they can find them elsewhere they can go on amazon and find it they don't they don't really i don't feel like they have a spot on steam and if they do they should have their own corner they shouldn't be being featured on the front page they shouldn't be you know just hiding all the good games while all we see is pet hotels and shovelware like Desert Gunner. Just maybe make a bargain bin area or an alternative area. You know, you can go under games and this stuff will pop up and it'll go, you know, you could put like an alternative category. <laughs> and by alternative means games, you know, or a kids category. There you go. Make a kids category and shove them all there. You don't need to put them on the front page. If the parents are looking for something for their kids, they're going to be doing it specifically, so they'll just go to the category themselves. Because this is, the only thing I can think of is these are mostly aimed towards kids or a really niche market. Ah, I don't know, Valve. You kind of make me sad right now. You kind of make me sad. So I don't know where the quality control is going. You know, like I said, green light, we only have ourselves to blame for that. But in this case, I don't know. Valve, come on, buddy. Bring, where's the old Valve I love? Come on. I know you still have these great deals and these great indie games, but at the same time, you know, where can you find some of these when it's all hidden by horse riding? Nothing against horse riding, you know. Like I said, love love horses. My wife's best friend loves horses, but when it comes to these video games, they don't they don't look stellar quality. They look bargain bin quality. Come on, Steam. Do me a do me a do me a favor here. Get get your act together for all of us. Anyway, if you agree with this little rant, then please leave a comment down below. If you disagree with this rant, please leave a comment down below. But please be nice about it. What do you think's going on with Steam right now? Are they just is it slow? Do you think maybe it's just well, I don't have nothing to release, so let's just release this stuff. I mean, do they have a quota or something? I don't know. And if you did like the, and, uh, this rant as well, please make sure to share with your friends. It puts a big smile on my face and lets me know. I am doing my job, which is entertaining you, which also means you can also hit that like button down below, and that also tells me all these great ways of making me feel good because I'm making you guys feel good. Till next time, game fans, keep playing, and thanks for watching.